Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, our dear viewers and listeners. We are here at um, Kawata Police Station, where one of our members um, uh, and Honorable MP for Malole, Honorable Robert Kalimi, has been detained. They are investigating him for a, for a funny charge. They are claiming that there is a case of motor vehicle theft. We know the details. There is no motor vehicle theft. But this is part of the harassment we have come to know. And um, uh, we are here with various leaders that have been here, some uh, uh, as, as, as the last three hours has shown. I'll hand over to Honorable Given Rubindao, acting president, just to speak to this matter and the continued politi uh, political harassment using law enforcement agencies that has faced the patriotic front having since 2021. Uh, good afternoon. I wish to address myself first of all to members of the patriotic front. We have said time and again that we must brace ourselves for harder times to come. We have now become accustomed to appearing at police stations and appearing in courtrooms ever since August, September of 2021. And uh, this is the price we pay for having led this country. This is the price we pay for running a political party in this country. This is the price we are willing to continue to pay for maintaining a democratic state. But this is a fight that we are not willing to lose. This is a fight that we shall take to the hit. Every time when one of us is arrested, we shall be there to give each other solidarity and to give each other support. By and large, we know that a lot of our people who have been arrested have been arrested on trumped up charges. The case at hand now involving Robert Kalimi, member of parliament for Malole, is a matter which was presented to the police in 2020. And the police officers themselves said this was a civil matter and there was no criminality involved. They actually compelled the person who was reported now to go and have Kalimi's vehicle fixed because he made an undertaking in writing that the vehicle, Kalimi's vehicle that he had bashed into, he would have it repaired. And that while he was having it repaired, he would make sure that Kalimi has access to a motor vehicle, a Volkswagen, which he himself handed over to Kalimi, and there is a letter to that effect. For the matter to become a matter of national interest now, four years later, three years later, and for the matter to have been reported to four headquarters and not to Kabwata police, shows you that there is a bigger hand involved in this matter. And we know that this is just politics at play. But I'd like to assure the people of Malole that your member of parliament shall not be left alone. We are working round the clock to make sure that uh, Robert Kalimi does not spend more hours than are necessary in Kabwata police. We're working hard, very happy that uh, two members of parliament have presented their letters to provide surety to Robert Kalimi. And we are hopeful that within the next hour, Robert Kalimi will be given his liberty, will be given his freedom, so that he goes to answer these issues in court. Let him go and battle it out in court. Let us see whether indeed there is any merit in what the police are doing over a matter of this nature. But I'd like to just emphasize that we in the patriotic front are not going to give up. Those who think that by harassing us, by intimidating us, we're going to give up, sorry. We're doing this for and on behalf of the many million Zambians who want Zambia to continue to be a democratic state. We are not at any time going to give up. We will not look back. We shall just look ahead because we know that the Zambian people and God are going to vindicate us. A lot of our people shall have to face this harassment, but we're prepared for it. We did warn Zambia that if you sleep over your rights and give leadership to these people, what will before this country will be untold misery. Here we are now. Instead of people preparing themselves to subsidize the many Zambians on the millimeal prices that will escalate, they are now busy harassing us, intimidating us, and giving each other's elephants even against the law. Time shall come for them to account as well. This I will say, and I want to say, mark my words, time will come for you to account. Thank you very much and continue to support us, all of you, wherever you are. If you want democracy to thrive in Zambia, support the patriotic front. And if you're going to keep quiet and don't condemn this harassment and intimidation, 
you yourselves will have to one day come to reckon and you'll be yourselves to blame. Thank you for your support. We shall continue to provide the leadership that you require. Thank you. Mr. President, maybe we use the opportunity. President Hakainde Chema at the press conference at which he's alleging that you are not providing checks and balances and that you are not providing alternatives to the crisis the country faces. You know, they, they refuse to buy soya beans. They say to be sold to the market. And uh, this uh, high cost of living and the myriad of problems facing our country. Do we have alternatives? Are we providing checks and balances maliciously as they claim? All that Hagainde has to do is to pick up the manifesto of the patriotic front. And actually we were worried, after we lost elections, we were worried that Hagainde Ijidema will go and pick up the manifesto of the patriotic front for 2021 to 2026. Because in that manifesto we laid out very clearly what we should do to govern this country. Now, notwithstanding that, our members of parliament have made lots of suggestions. We, the leadership of the Patriotic Front, have made lots of suggestions. For instance, we told Haga Inde through our members of parliament not to get money from line ministries, from Ministry of Home Affairs to give to CDF, from Ministry of Health to give to CDF, from Ministry of Local Government to give to CDF, and then after that, to use the same ministries to go chasing after the same money and telling our members of parliament, every constituency, you must buy a vehicle for the police, every constituency, buy an ambulance, every constituency, go and build schools. What are you doing? All you're doing is getting money from central government and giving it to poor members of parliament and giving it to councils when you haven't built sufficient capacity. This is the reason why even the utilization of the CDF is dismal. And this is going to create even more corruption than ever before. We also told him against buying fertilizer at 1,050 kwacha from his friend Alpha. We told him that if you buy this fertilizer at 1,050 kwacha, then the price of maize in 2023 would be no less than 250 kwacha. They mustn't brag and say they are giving money to farmers. All they are doing now is to try and compensate the farmers for the escalated cost of production. After they increase the price of fertilizer, what do they expect? Do they expect the farmer to produce the maize at 180 kwacha a bag? Of course not. It was 180 kwacha when fertilizer was $650 a metric ton. Now that it's $1,050 per metric ton, naturally the cost of maize has had to increase. And farmers, even the 280 they are giving you is not enough. I am a farmer myself. And the cost of producing one bag of maize from last year's prices is more than 300 kwacha. So this has been created by Haga Inde himself. If he says we're not giving him alternative policies, we're giving him except that he has put cotton wool in his ears. He's not willing to listen. And the reason for that is because Haga Inde believes that the world evolves around him. This is the reason why he even brags and says other presidents are admiring what he has achieved. What has he achieved? What is it that he has achieved? Simply you. for <laughs> giving meal, meal allowance to students at university, he thinks that he has, uh, he has achieved. He hasn't achieved anything. Your Excellency, he said going to address uh, students at CBU and uh, universities, one of its kind, which has never done by any president. To him, that is a very big achievement. But that's what you expect if a person who's supposed to be a lecturer becomes president. He goes on a, 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 a press brief press conference for a president where he's supposed to outline his policies, give us the direction of the country, give us concrete achievements that are going to trickle down to the living standards of the people. He starts giving you graphs. So the people, the people of Zambia are discerning people and they hear all the different policy alternatives we give to Haga Inde Ijedema, but he does not listen at all. We have been advising him. We also advised him against making all these international travels. A man has been in State House for 20 months only, and yet he has made more trips abroad than Edgar Lungu made in five years. What is he looking for? He's calling himself the chief marketing officer. Where are the ambassadors? If he himself is chief marketing officer and he will go to every country where there's a foreign trip, he must remove those ambassadors, bring them back to Zambia because he wants to be ambassador. We give him alternatives, but he doesn't listen. Now, the time is here. People will start to ask him those questions. Time for reckoning has come. Thank and you, Mr. Please, President. please, please. Let me invite Honorable Chimbagambuina to make Please, a please. Boys. Let boys. Haga Inde and this government go and buy soya beans from the poor farmers.
my heart bleeds where I'm standing. Honorable uh, 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 Mwamban, the honorable. Look, we struggled, we suffered as PF to make people diversify from growing maize. For a long time, farmers in Zambia knew, peasant farmers only knew that growing maize was the way to go. But we went down to the grassroots and told them, look, you can make money out of soya beans. And the production of soya beans has gone up, in fact, uh, tripled since we started that program as PF. Now that the people have bought in the uh, growing of soya beans, you go and tell FRI not to stop. And you say you are a president leading a country. In Sonia Wuntu. Kavia in Mueshta soya beans kuban too. Look, the, in fact, uh, FRA by now must be transiting into uh, 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 an agriculture marketing board. This issue of uh, FRA just buying for strategic reserve mm -hmm. must come to an end. Mm -hmm. Because if the poor people, you, you, if you want the poor people to become more productive, you must provide the market. Mm -hmm. If you go to the rural areas, you find if you push it to the Fiona Cafe because there are no people to buy. Now we provided a market for soya beans. Mwaisa Funyapo, Fiona Ale Mieva Mwevena Zambia. At Mukesa Chula. Soya beans are being given. Now we soya beans. And we are not going to buy. The private sector, but actually abuse the farmers. You know they buy those things using if you have for a How can somebody be encouraged to grow soya beans again? No, it is actually soya beans. It is actually soya beans. Soya beans. We are going to go back in the Malay Paya Bantu. Are we going to go back soya beans deep in the rural areas? What are they going to do? The private sector doesn't even reach those areas. Kashteni soya beans kubali me. Please. Iri ashidi ya soya beans diena. Awe bane. Muyangala kuteka bantu mano. Awe mbaba tila kuteke mba mano. Wateke mba mchipiraya. Mualale ka bantu nomba. Awe ile msoya beans. Production ya soya beans yala. Okay fine. If you don't want to buy soya beans from the poor people. Remove that ban for export. Let them export the soya beans. China is buying soya beans. Tanzania is buying soya beans. But you, 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 you want to say FRI will not buy soya beans, but there is that ban. Go and have that ban lifted so that the people can find their own market. But the best way to do is please buy soya beans uh, through uh, uh, FRA. Thank because you. by now, FRA must be gravitating to becoming the agriculture marketing board. If you have a people who change a change a government, Nambod was a very excellent idea by KK. MM, MMD came and abolished it. How do you promote agriculture without uh, markets? So by H H in Sonia Bund, Kashten Soya Beans Bund, Malemo na kuwa tukteke chalo kuangala, Nomba mwa chisanga. Tien, Mulewa na chwe chalo. Thank you very much, Honorable Chimbakambuila. I'll invite uh, Honorable uh, uh, Mtoto Kafoya, my dear brother and member of parliament for Lunte, you know, he's been grappling with the matter, especially at the National Audit Office, where the office has literally been paralyzed. Internal Audit and uh, National Audit Office have been matters of concern. This promotes transparency. Maybe just speak to the issues there and our concerns. Well, uh, thank you so much. Um, a very important matter. I think I've raised with this matter with a lot of interest. I can assure you that uh, I have a lot of passion about uh, national audit. I have a lot of passion about audit generally, and I have uh, some form of understanding when it comes to this issue. Mm -hmm. But let me just start by saying that the FIC report yeah. for this year is telling us that UPND government has produced corruption to a tune of 6.1 billion kwacha. Uh, okay, in 2022. Uh, probably this is why uh, DEC is now being destabilized uh, so that uh, those people who are in that FIC report cannot be followed up properly. 
uh, I, I, I did predict that even FIC itself mm -hmm. is going to be destabilized mm -hmm. because I have believed beyond reasonable doubt that the audit office is suffering uh, purely because government does not want to be exposed because of the corruption happening at Ministry of uh, Tourism, corruption happening at Ministry of Finance, corruption happening at Ministry of uh, uh, Agriculture. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have seen a, a PS who has refused to tender documents for audit purposes, which has never happened. It's unconstitutional, but the president doesn't appear to be annoyed about all that. Can somebody imagine that a minister can record the president? Record the president talking about uh, uh, people constructing lodges and women shaking bums in lodges, and he circulates that, and the president doesn't act. Can you say that uh, uh, that is really something that anybody can laugh about? Mm. I think that the things that should be annoying the president are such acts. A minister like that one should be fired instantly. A minister who tolerates his peers to refuse the uh, constitutional audit must be fired instantly. A minister who acts in the manner that the minister in the Ministry of Finance has acted by segregating people and victimizing should just be fired. What we need is a country which is united, a country uh, which is serious about internal control functioning properly. So clearly, uh, 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 Ambassador Mwamba, you will never get a functioning Auditor General without a functioning deck, mm -hmm. without a functioning anti-corruption commission. Mm -hmm. You can't have people make a group at the Ministry of Finance and go and sit in the SEC. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. How do you create the, the same he must punch these people. Uh, Your Excellency, sir, ensure that when there are no drugs in hospitals, it must pain you. It must pain you. You must ensure that in Toshishawa, is aware on the tables. You must ensure that medicine comes where in the hospitals. And to do that, your systems must work. Yeah. Systems must work. And Auditor General, that Dr. Dix Chembe, who is a victim of regionalism, yeah. uh, should be should be assured. Yeah. He must be supported. And the only person who can give him support is the president, yeah. since yeah. the Minister of Finance and others have come together to, to, to sort him out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. We'll give you an update later. We are at Kawata Police Station where I'm Honorable MP for Malolem, Honorable Robert Kalimi, is, is held here, has been detained on what we consider trumped up charges against him, a charge of motor vehicle theft. We'll give you a brief letter. Thank you very much and thank you for joining us.